the commission condemns the assassination of journalist Daphne Caruana Galizia. Her murder was an attack on the free media and is a grave concern of, to Europe as a whole. We have said it very clearly many times that we expect a thorough and independent investigation free from any political interference. I repeated this message directly to the Maltese ministers I spoke to recently. Europol is in Malta and has supported the investigations in Malta as a top priority case with experts on the spot and from Europol headquarters. The support activities are ongoing and will continue. It is crucial that all those responsible are brought to justice as soon as possible. The people of Malta and first and foremost the family of Daphne Caruana Galizia demand truth and justice and we stand with them. I also made this very clear during my visit to Malta in June 2018. Our role, the role of the Commission, is to address more structural and systemic issues, in particular in the area of judiciary and the fight against corruption and money laundering. And we have done just that. We are here today not just to condemn a murder, but we are here to discuss the response of the EU institutions. Uh, and in that context, I note that once again, the Council is absent, and that is significant. They're not taking responsibility for any of this. Uh, we visited Malta two weeks ago and what we saw has not reassured us. It has basically fanned our concerns and I'm also deeply concerned at the, the lack of urgency that I sense in particular in the Council and to a lesser degree in the Commission. I welcome that this Commission is at least taking steps in contrast to the previous Commission that was completely silent. But we have to realise that we are dealing here with hard-nosed criminals who are literally ready to kill. They're not going to be terribly impressed by a bureaucratic response or by the Venice Commission or by infringement procedures. They're criminals, that's what we're dealing with. And what is more worrying are the connections between those criminals and politics all the way up to the office of the Prime Minister. That is what we're talking about. And this is part of the fabric that is the European Union. Now the question is, at the end of this, will we be able to look ourselves in the eye? Will we be able to look into the eyes of the family of Daphne Caruana Galizia and say that we have done everything in our power? Everything. And yes, within the limits, Mrs. Sippel, of the rule of law. But the presumption of innocence should never become the pretense of innocence. Now, there is, first of all, the immediate term, and that is to safeguard the integrity of the murder investigation. And I note here that although it is not our task to call for the resignation of the Prime Minister, that is the duty of the Maltese Parliament, and it should not be absolved of its responsibility, I do think that we should point out here that his continued presence in the office of the Prime Minister is cause for grave concern. Because if there is a risk, real or perceived, of meddling with the investigation, then basically we are ero eroding the trust in the investigation, trust in the authorities and in the rule of law. And therefore, uh, I would like to really urge the European Commission to immediately start the dialogue uh, in the rule of law framework. And I'm glad that the Commission has already sent a letter yesterday. And of course, the Council should be deeply ashamed of itself. The government leaders who are sitting at the table with the Prime Minister of Malta refusing to even discuss what is going on. It is deeply shameful. They should take responsibility for the integrity of the European Union. Of course, in the longer term, there is the rule of law reforms, the constitutional reforms, banning corruption, money laundering, uh, ending the sale of passports, uh, and all the rest of it. But in conclusion, colleagues, we have to recognize this is not a technocratic issue. It's not just a legal issue. This is an issue of taking political responsibility for the for the health of the democratic rule of law in the European Union as a whole. Because if we don't do it, and if we don't do it now, this disease will spread. So let's act now. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. I would like to start with an apology. I apologize for the actions of the Maltese government. Honestly, 
I never thought I would feel as ashamed of the Maltese government as I feel today. I'm ashamed of the criminal gang that has taken over the Maltese government. I'm ashamed that the institutions in my country didn't do their job. I'm ashamed that they killed Daphne Caruana Galizia. However, the Maltese government is not Malta. These few criminals do not represent the Maltese and Gozitan population. The real Maltese and the Gozitans are in the streets protesting. The Maltese population is resilient, strong, courageous. This is the real Malta. And while the Maltese government makes me feel ashamed, the Maltese people make me proud. Proud that we do not allow anyone to bully us. Proud that today we recognize the fact that amongst the best ever journalists on the continent, there is Daphne. Daphne is the true Maltese. However, now we need to take action on an EU level. Enough with the empty words, vague statements and promises of monitoring. Now is the time to take action. Action must be taken by the Council, which is absent today, and the Commission in order to do their duty. Get a move on and protect the Maltese and Gozitan citizens. Make sure our institutions are on the side of the citizens. The Maltese and Gozitan citizens have a right to all of this. I'm proud to be on the side of the citizens together with Roberta. I'm proud to be part of the family, of this family here, which has always been the shield of the Maltese and Gozitan citizens. Thank you.